Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. You'll never believe where I'm at today. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. If you're new to us, welcome. This video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm uh, hanging out with a different animal and it's not my bison. This is how I started out. Raising, well, let me, let me show it to you. This is where it all started for me. Follow me into this building and you'll understand a little bit about how I got started in agriculture. Hope you're ready. No, they're not bison. Sheep! This is how I started. Looky here. Got baby sheep. Had a lot of lambs. This is where I started in livestock. This is where I uh, was in FFA and in 4-H. It was right here. This was my project. So don't tell me this little thing right here is pretty cute. This is one of my favorite times of the year is lambing season. Um, because, I mean, look at this guy. Yeah, who doesn't like baby lambs? Yeah, pretty soon we'll have some baby bison. friend post um, something on Facebook and uh, it was about um, why we should have FFA in schools and that drew my attention and I loved it and um, I was a part of FFA and it was really important to me and this is where it all started for me really the farming culture um, I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about hard work um, dedication and passion was from FFA and um, if you don't know what FFA is I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it <laughs> FFA is is a organization a school ran organization it's all over the country and it stands for future farmers of America it's been around for a long time my dad was in it, my stepdad was in it, um, my sister's been in it, my cousin's been in it, everybody in my family has been part of FFA. Uh, whether you're sh they've shown uh, sheep or cattle, um, people in our family has been part of FFA. And it, it teaches you so much more than just about animals. It teaches you dedication, passion. It teaches you a lot of responsibility when you're young and there's a lot of high schools in Oklahoma being an agricultural state that don't even have FFA matter of fact the school that I'm at is a country school it doesn't even have FFA um, and I'm not sure why speaking of dedication this is grandma joy grandma joy is the heart and soul of this sheep business and has been for a long time she's the one that has pushed us um, and supported us through 4-H and FFA for a very long time. This photo was recently taken of Grandma Joy about 3 a.m. here recently during the lambing season, and she is bottle, ba bottle feeding a uh, newborn lamb, trying to help it get on its feet. God bless Grandma Joy. By the way, um, I think she's about 87 years old. FFA needs to be in schools um, because it's an avenue for lots of students to... What's wrong? He wants out. It's so important to be in schools because it's an avenue for a lot of kids that want to do stuff like this. Maybe not sheep, 
maybe cattle, pigs, goats, um, horses, any of those types of livestock. Can, it, it doesn't even have to be animals. It can be, uh, you can learn how to do vegetables. Uh, you can learn how to garden and you can learn how to weld, which is what I did. I also learned how to weld an FFA. This ewe, which is a female, had on her very first set of lambs, she had triplets. That's amazing. I used to get up at 5.30 in the morning um, and feed. Um, before I even went to school, I'd come back in, get ready, and then I'd go to school. Uh, that is something I did, and then I'd go to school, go to practice, whether it's football or basketball, and then I would come home and I would feed the sheep and even work them, uh, work our show lambs and, and, and practice with them. Why do we raise sheep or why does my family or why did we raise sheep? I don't raise sheep anymore. My family obviously still does. But why do you raise sheep? Well, these sheep are not for their wool, which you see this one's pretty, they're pretty wooly. Um, but these are a bunch of mamas that just had babies. But one of the reasons that we raise sheep here is for show lambs. I've been in the, my stepdad and their family has been in the uh, show lamb business for 30 years maybe, 20 plus, 30 years. And um, I got started and it was when I was in sixth grade, um, I started showing sheep. And uh, I showed sheep uh, all the way until um, through my high school career. And then when you get in high school, I believe when you're becoming eighth grader, you can get into FFA. And that was built into my school. Um, at Sulphur, um, there's an FFA program and it's a class. You can take a class on, on, in FFA. You can take welding classes. You can take some um, like science classes, uh, just uh, animal husbandry classes, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure all of them. It may have changed since I've been in. But you can take several classes in FFA. I was an officer. I was an officer for three years, actually, in our FFA program, in our FFA chapter at my high school. Every high school that has FFA has their own chapter and has their own office. Um, and I think there's like seven or eight members in that. Um, but I was an officer uh, for three years in our chapter. And um, you go to conventions. You meet other people, and I, uh, there's just so much you can do. We traveled places. I showed the sheep. I showed lambs all over Oklahoma. I even showed uh, sheep at the Denver National Livestock Show um, once. Uh, but sometimes we'd travel outside of the state, and when you do those things, you meet lots of people. You learn how to socialize with people, um, and, um, you just kind of, you learn that there's another world out there and this is a way that you can do it um, by meeting others your age that do the same thing that you can connect to uh, in life. But I've showed everything. I've showed ducks, I've showed chickens, I've showed sheep. I even showed a, I think a heifer one time for my buddy that broke his arm or something like that. Um, but I've showed uh, just about, any animal that you can put in a county fair, I've done it. I'm in the uh, show lamb barn. So these lambs um, look like they've been shown this year. Notice they're, uh, they've been sheared, they're cleaned off. Uh, that's because they were recent, recently showed in our county fair. And um, these animals will still be shown later on uh, this spring. Well, I guess not typically you would. Uh, minus coronavirus stuff but so these lambs um, will eventually uh, if there's some weathers in here which are basically castrated males those weathers will be shipped to market for meat um, if they're used they're typically kept um, and they will be turned out to the main pasture with like you've seen the other ones and they will um, um, hopefully be pregnant soon next year and we'll have babies about this time. America is an agricultural country 
Uh, we are founded upon agriculture, and we need to keep those. We need to keep stuff like that around. Where uh, agriculture uh, is decreasing uh, slowly, the small farmers are slowly decreasing um, in America, and um, you can see that. And um, I try to encourage people to do that, and I try to encourage kids to be a part of something and find something. And this is another avenue. Everything about it. You don't have to go out of your way for anything. There's classes in school. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, you can just be a part of a program in, in its own chapter, and you can learn about animals. You can learn about farming. You can learn about agriculture, and it's a great place to start, and there's lots of people that have done this. There's lots of farmers. I guarantee you the big majority of the farmers still today were in FFA. Uh, I guarantee you a lot of them were, um, a high percentage of them were in FFA or in 4-H. And 4-H is for youth, is for younger kids. FFA is for high school. And I believe it starts in eighth grade and it goes all the way up to you graduate high school. Um, and um, it's a great program to learn those good traits. It, they even teach you how to handshake. I learned how to properly handshake at the state convention in Oklahoma City one year, and, and I had no idea that there was a proper way to handshake. Um, I learned how to socialize with people. I learned how to teamwork, um, and I was an officer, so I had to take some responsibility for my chapter, and I had to run a uh, program one night. And there's lots of things that forces you to do that gets you ready for college. I went to a college. I went to an agricultural college, Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Go Pokes! And uh, you know, I was surrounded by the FFA type of kids. Not just. I mean, there was lots of students there, but it's a agricultural college, and so there's a lot of students that go to Oklahoma State just to be in the agricultural program or the vet school and things like that thing that this can teach you being a part of FFA is there is a whole business side of this thing um, and kids can make money doing this. If you really get into uh, raising animals, doesn't matter which livestock um, you raise, you can get into this and if you do a good job you can make some money at it and you know students do that. There's a lot of kids that do that and they do it I'm sure with their family um, but you can raise these animals and you can sell them or take them to shows and people see how good your animals are. They want to buy them and they want to show them themselves or breed to yours. And that's a business. And it doesn't matter if it's cattle, uh, if it's uh, pigs or sheep or goats, um, you can run your own business. And that's another great thing about this, um, being a part of FFA and raising animals like this is you can learn a business side to it, which will also prepare you um, for when you graduate high school and go on to college. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I know it's not my bison, but this is where it all started for me. I know it's sheep, but I hope you understand a little bit more about FFA um, and livestock industry. Um, it's what America's founded on, and um, I'm proud to say that, and I'm a small-time uh, farm, a uh, small uh, business with the bison, just as like this started right here uh, when I was a lot younger. So if you don't have FFA in schools, it needs to be there. Um, if, if it is in the school and you have kids, um, try to push them into it. Talk to them, at least talk to them about um, FFA. I'm sure you can learn a lot more online on the FFA website. Um, and uh, if you do have it in your local community, local school, that's awesome, okay? So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, sorry you didn't get to see the bison as much this time, but follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys.